Hey everyone, Dan here from Sure PT. I've kind of been out of it for a little bit here because I was down with the COVID. I was sicker than the dog. Uh, yeah, I couldn't do a heck of a lot of videos through that whole process. Uh, really extreme temperature changes, um, hot, cold, sweating. Um, honestly, just really, really cloudy and not able to function. So today's the first day that I've kind of ran around and actually did anything since the whole COVID thing. That's been a couple of weeks. Um, it's really humid outside right now. Uh, I think the temperature is around 20 or so. I'm going to get the Wabasco heater going on the Sherp. I still have not yet changed out the summer fuel. Uh, we're going to try to burn out some fuel today, but not exactly sure what we're going to do yet. So I'll get the heater going and... Um, We'll see how long it takes actually to get her nice and snugly in there. So again, how the Sherp works, it's actually got two different batteries in that are kind of on two different circuits. So what you can do is turn the Wabasco heater on um, inside of the unit. You could actually completely drain one of the batteries. You flip a switch, it goes to the other battery, and then the thing can still start. Uh, I found actually a thermometer out here. So the thermometer out there says that it is about 25 degrees. I think it's actually a little bit colder than that. But so all you have to do is come into the back of the Sherp. Right here is where the heater's at. Just turn that up. Turn that on. Now what's happening is the heating element is going to get everything nice and warm before it introduces fuel and that's using the same diesel fuel that the Sherp runs on. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear that over the camera but right now the you can hear that heater going and very soon there'll be a fan that'll turn on. The Exhaust for um, the Basco heaters here. If you can hear that clicking, that's the fuel pump calling for fuel. So very soon it should be burned some of that fuel. Fan is now going. I don't know if you can see the steam. So she is now heating. So we'll close this all up. Come back out, I don't know, an hour or so, I think. I don't know if you can hear that, but it, it gets pretty loud actually on the outside gets really loud and then it'll calm down after the whole thing gets uh, up to temperature. So I'm not 100% sure but my guess is it's been about an hour and a half and it is at 44 degrees. Remember, it's a little low right here. It's in the front. The air is blowing out in the back, so the back has got to be significantly warmer than the front, And but the engine compartment is nice and warm also because half of the air that blows out from that Wabasco heater goes into the engine compartment. The other half goes into the cabin. I left the thermometer out here inside of the shirt with the heater on too for up the engine and she's basically about 60 degrees it's about 25 degrees out um, the shirt hasn't been run for a while this is 
just to give you an idea about how high it is, I'm about 5'10", so my guess this is about five, five and a half feet, somewhere around there. I wish I could show you more shots like this out in the field, but when it's cold out like this and getting somebody to get out of the shirt and go out and set up the camera, kind of a pain in the butt. So it's a lot easier to do that just in the driveway and other places where it makes life a lot easier. So the snow was fairly fresh. I just plowed it a couple of days before, so you're noticing it's starting to squish down. Well, what's happening here is the wheels are wanting to go back into those trenches, basically, that have been created. So I'm trying not to go on that. On the inside of the Sherp, I'm not sure that I, I didn't even know that I made those trenches, so I thought I was a lot higher than that. I didn't want to come and slam straight down. Um, I guess you have to kind of experience it and feel it, but I thought I'd share that. Didn't want to make her too boring, so I thought I'd speed it up here a little bit. This is eight times the normal speed. But eventually I did decide to kick it in a little bit. We went up to uh, second gear and kind of played a little. As you can kind of see, you can get moving at a fairly decent rate of speed um, when you're driving around on country like this. It's a lot better in the winter than it is in the summer because everything's so slippery and you can just turn on a dime. Hope you're getting a kick out of me just driving around in the driveway here. But it's a lot of fun. I hope you're enjoying looking at it as much as I was doing it. So we eventually did get the Sherp on the trailer. We weren't exactly sure where we were going to go. We were going to go to some lake. And we eventually did find an area. A little early yet to be cruising around, but we had a little fun. So out on Lake Winnebago, just going over a little bit of an ice shove just to see how she reacts here right now. You can see there's a little bit of ice. I guess it was probably about three, four inches here before, somewhere around there, but this spot. As you can see that ice mound there is about as high as the Sherp so that's you know that's seven eight feet up in the air 
tried to give you an idea here about what those tires are going through. It's just incredible how well they can kind of form to the actual ice. On this particular day, the pressure gauge for the tires was not working that well. I think I had some moisture in it a little bit, and I probably had a little bit too much air in the tires, but not enough to really matter. I guess it's kind of hard to get a perspective of this ice, but it's about, I'd say about three feet high. I believe it's fairly shallow right here. That's why it all is building up. And on this lake, like many, right? Uh, ice freezes and so forth, and then the wind blows it, and it kind of blows and goes to the places where it's shallow, and this happens to be one of those places. What I'm gonna do here is I get going about, oh, I'm in fourth gear. I would guess it's probably about 20 miles an hour. There's third gear. And again, it's ice, very, very little snow is out there right now. And we just pull on one of the levers. You can fly around pretty quick. <laughs> wild, wild, wild. <laughs> Well, feels good to get be back in my feet again, being able to get out. Um, had a great time out on Lake Winnebago, playing in the driveway. Um, very happy to be getting rid of all of this COVID crap. Hope everybody's having a great day. Appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Please hit that like button. Throw some comments out there. And have a happy 2022. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.